<laughs> and welcome to another episode of 72 Pin Connector. With us this week, we have a full house. We have Tom, Whoop, Adam, Whoop, Whoop, and Josh. Whoop, Whoop, Whoop. <laughs> wow. we're, all, we're, all, we're all Jekyll is now. We're, we're, we're trying. We're, we Good are, games, uh, everybody. Yeah, that's yeah. it. We're, and the cast is done. <laughs> Time to get so all yeah, that, that that was Get our face so paint off. Nerd shit. That's, that's all we got. That's all I have for bad shit. I have some face painting clown rappers to listen to. <laughs> yes, yes, and sure. That sounds like a. a Grand old time. So um, I was uh, lo- I was looking at something online the other day. I was like, something. oh, the Nettle game, or no, the Great Malenko from ICP came out blah blah years ago. I'm like, holy fuck, I forgot they existed. <laughs> like, I, have, yeah. I remember Juggalos more than I do ICP. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, just completely forgot they ever existed. That's generally yeah. a good thing. But they always Not ask bad. like the, the, the important questions, like how do magnets work? No. <laughs> God damn it. So here's the important question of the week. Uh, huh, yeah. Were any of you juggalos? Um, um actually no. no. I was just no, kidding no. about all of that. Yeah, no, no, In no. fact, I, 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 I know nothing very, of the life so. I don't even know any of their songs. You don't like uh Fago? I actually don't like Fago, no. Oh um, really? Did you know that they're doing Fago in glass bottles now? Really? That feels... You can get glass bottle Fago in six packs now. <laughs> that sounds like way classier than it should be. So you drank yeah, Fago right? not because it tasted good. It tasted okay, it's like, but it was cheap. Really cheap. Yeah, but It's like putting for that Jaeger cheap, bombs in a martini glass. It just doesn't for fit. For that cheap, I'd rather have like a whole liter of water than like whatever 16 ounces of like really crappy soda. Any more, yes, but man, I have you, no idea what that is. You, Fago? Fago, it's like water, super water. cheap. Uh, it covers seventy percent of the planet. Um, yeah. Generally, fish live in there. Oh um, yeah, that's like so drinking good. water. Like, you're you're depleting uh, the fish ecosystem, <laughs> so that's why I only drink Coca Cola. <laughs> okay, that seems fair. Yeah. And because Fago we'll is like low quality soda that's really cheap, like and sold exclusively uh, at big lots. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh, not a huge Fago or soda guy anymore at all, but I was big on Fago. You Ma- would be. I you was. Be. Moon Mist, you baby. <laughs> Moon Mist. You would no, be. No. You would be. What the fuck's wrong with cheap soda? It's nothing but fucking sugar anyway. <laughs> you you gotta you, you actually, eat sugar. It's corn syrup. But yeah, it's, okay. it's, okay. Worse, it's, worse, it's worse than sugar. Yeah, you're right. Good call, good call. <laughs> <laughs> so, so speaking of food... Has anyone eaten anything truly interesting this week? I had sushi. Is oh. everyone, so that's wow. close as it gets. Yeah, no, um, I have no material for this. Week for food. Um, I yeah. had like a ginger limeade thing that was okay. Um, I made some like chicken alfredo, but that's nothing to write home about. So. I got I got dry mm. uh, chicken right, strips well, from the deli that tasted like everything else in the deli container. Well, because you got it from a deli. <laughs> yeah, that's a was, pretty unique experience. It was it was pretty bad. It was, it was a bad bad night. <laughs> I've been, it was it's been a dark week. Yeah, <laughs> it, re- it really has it's dark. Uh, I did get hot pot this week though. Hot pot. Man. Hot pot. Love hot pot. Man. What is hot pot? <laughs> okay. I thought we went into we, hot we pot. Have quick did we go to hot pot? It's yeah. a boiling pot of oil. You put meat can, in it and it cooks it. Yeah, it's it's oh. boiling broth and they bring you like oh, yeah, droves yeah. of raw okay. food and you cook and eat and it's got rice and okay. shit and it's delicious. It's okay. It's Yum. not bad. Urk is wrong. Yeah, Urk is <laughs> <laughs> more cultured. I have a refined taste, thank you. No, anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> Weren't you the guy? That, okay, never mind. Wasn't I? Oh no, no, no what? What? Where are we going? What? What? <laughs> what did you have for lunch this week? <laughs> refined, um, Mr. Refined Taste. Um, <laughs> let, hold on, hold on. Let me just, four but out of the five let, days we, of we, the work yeah, week. Can we it was, roll? It was protein bars. Four for, out of the five with with some moon mist. No, no moon bought mist. Bought out of Big Lots <laughs> while you were while you were sporting some Juggalo face paint. Subscribe, baby. Subscribe. <laughs> I get that shit delivered monthly. <laughs> let's let's roll back that audio. Uh, yeah. yeah, I think you described some. We'll clip that. Somebody clip yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, well, anyway, so we've established no food this week. In general, Mm-mm. how y'all's week's been doing? Uh, pretty decent. In general. In general. Fine. General. Yeah. Busy. Wicked busy. Pretty, yeah. Generally fine. I had house guests all week. Really? I mean, they, they were good. They were good. I, I liked the people that were that were here, but 
it's it's busy it's really busy and you know like you know how you spend a long time with people that you like and like they're in your house but at the end of it you're just like go i'm really happy to be alone <laughs> every every saturday <laughs> night every saturday every night. single one every saturday. We, we get like halfway through the podcast and eric's just like okay you can just leave you can leave just go you've, 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 you've done you've... all you can do right now after last <laughs> week yes i wanted to kill you last week <laughs> what so, was uh what was so bad about last week um you know at the end of the podcast some of you guys may have noticed i was a little um short on answers a little bit and what you didn't see is behind the scenes we have oh. we <laughs> okay yep behind, now, now you know i remember now we're letting now everyone know now. here behind the scenes we have a um discord channel that we have dedicated just for us so we can kind of communicate during the show to kind of throw it over to each other so it doesn't have these terrible awkward pauses like that Irk, you should probably transition now or tom stop <laughs> talking about dark souls well, <laughs> yeah. we, we got we'll about, that later. We'll we, got about we got about the hour mark, and all of a sudden, I'm like, "Yeah, I really, really got to piss." So I, right. put, <laughs> I put in the chat, and I'm just like, "Okay, guys, let's not skip anything, but let, let's keep it moving. Let's not drone." So Tom <laughs> sees this, and he holds on to every topic for at least five, ten minutes, just ranting on shit he has no opinion about. Yeah. Oh gosh! At the end, I am cursing him out in chat. As <laughs> soon as I hit pr the end of podcast, I bolted for the bathroom. It was I remember fantastic. That. I remember the. It was like wrapping up the cast, and Eric is like, "Please hurry! Please hurry! I really have to go! Please hurry, Tom! <laughs> oh, wait, Tom!" <laughs> in all caps in the chat thing, and Tom is just <laughs> rambling on like there's nothing else to say. Everybody's done. Yep. All Eric has to do is go let's, through. Let's the, look at hey, follow us on this and that and all that. And kind I, of stuff. I could see his laptop and see that he had. As the Discord channel, uh, he is clearly seeing what I'm typing. Totally sees yep, it. I totally see everything. Oh, but, but you know what's more important than you going to the bathroom and not damaging your kidneys and or bladder? <laughs> You're Me amusing. droning on and on and on. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God, I God. hate you, man. <laughs> but so that was what happened at the end of last week. It, it Just was, so everyone the knows. Official, the official transcript of which is... Uh, for the love of God, yes. Tom, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, no, I refuse. <laughs> okay, got a piss. Oh, God. Okay, really? About to piss myself. Please stop. <laughs> Are you doing this on purpose? <laughs> That's good. That was good. That's good. That's yeah, quality. That good. <laughs> yeah. We like to run a transparent organization here, and, and that was that's I can confirm that's an actual transcript of the 72 PC podcast Discord text chat. Well, what's great yeah, is Josh wasn't on last week, so no. Josh is back and he sees it. And he's after the podcast, he's like, What the fuck just happened? <laughs> yeah, what's going on? <laughs> I missed something great, <laughs> yeah. But, but also, a, a quick one. side note before we get into anything. Well, not really important, but anything normal. Um, there is something missing from this week. It's Tom's hair. Yeah, I, I know. For those, for those of you on video shorter. or YouTube, do we need a moment of silence? Or, or yes, <laughs> we need to mourn this because we did get a call out. Some people um, rocking the hair, so or enjoying the hair. So, Tom, you know, it, it was it was time for a change. Mostly, it was it was my <laughs> wife being helpful because we've got a really weird relationship where. We're completely honest about everything with each other. Like, it's dangerous. In any other relationship, I would have been murdered by now. But she's like, yeah. you know, I said, so I'm getting my hair cut. Should I just get it shorter or what should I do? She said, well, it looks like you're trying to cover up a receding hairline with the way you put it. And I was like, oh. One of these? Yeah, basically. Right. Like, like that. And, and I had it all swooped yeah, over. Like she's like, it, just, it looks shitty. I was like, oh, Okay. Well, what do you want? And she she Google images popular men's haircuts, and we're scrolling through. And she's like that one. I'm like, eh, I don't really like that one. So I find a picture of Ryan Reynolds. I'm like, I'm doing this one. She says, Yeah, okay, that'd be good. <laughs> so the only thing I need now is I need uh, exercise, a decent diet, and lots of plastic surgery to completely look like Ryan Reynolds, and then I'd be good. Yeah. And then I'll give you yeah, a Green you, Lantern. Yeah. You can enjoy that shitty part of his there career. You go. God. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Just Why the Green Lantern out of all of the yeah. animated? Because uh, we have to make him feel bad about good. feeling Wait, so good. Why did you have to Green pick Lantern. the shitty one? Like, <laughs> <laughs> at least give me a Deadpool outfit. Well, no, if we're going to give you anything, we can't give you Deadpool. Maybe uh, the, the guy he was in Blade. 
okay, I'd settle for his blade guy. Because that was still the same general <laughs> smart-ass personality. Yeah. I, he's always I'd the settle. same general smart-ass personality. Yeah, you're going to be like Van Wilder or something. How about that? Let's <laughs> Though I will say, I really <laughs> like the Blade movies. They're yeah, campy. Blade. They're campy and they're, they're enjoyable. They're campy in yeah. a good way. Yeah, no, they're they're fantastic. I like a lot of movies not, are campy in a good way. They're not serious. It's not like a thing you're going to get invested in, but it's just some yeah. dude murdering vampires in ridiculous ways, and that's great. Yeah, you can't it. beat that. Yeah, I've got no <laughs> complaints on Blade. None. There's a, there's definitely as far as movies are concerned, there's always a difference between entertaining versus good. Like really, yeah. like like theatrical great movie like like a critic would be like this is the best movie of our time it's perfect mm. it's in every way mm. i find those not very entertaining sometimes and then you watch yeah. fast and the furious and you're like this is probably the greatest experience i've had in movie theater <laughs> i've never a- come out smiling bigger than when i've watched fast and the furious there's <laughs> yeah. a time and a place for popcorn movies just like there's a time and a place for right. super serious introspective you Absolutely. look at your life differently right. for the rest of all time kind of yeah. movie so like tarantino <laughs> right. movies yeah yeah all right <laughs> That's the Tarantino movies has a bit of both sometimes. It, like. it really <laughs> does. It really but, uh, does. Have you guys have any of you pulled the trigger on Movie Pass yet? Um, no. Yeah, I'm still seriously considering it. Yesterday, did. I did. Nice. Um, and I, w- I was going to use it yesterday. Uh, so for those of you who don't know, here's a little background. There's uh, a site called mm-hmm. MoviePass.com, and they just lowered their price crazy. So ten bucks a month, walk up to a theater. And you go see a movie. No IMAX, no 3D, nothing crazy like that. But you go see any movie. It's not like one movie a month. You get unlimited movies a month. You just go there and get a ticket and walk in, and you're done. Well, I thought it was. I thought it was one per day. You, so you yeah, yeah, get, one one per day max. Okay, yeah, okay. So so max but you can still, see thirty to thirty one go- movies <laughs> per month. Um, yeah. They're totally going to lose money on this. The idea is that they take all your personal data that they collect about you and what you're seeing and where you're seeing it. They package it up and try to sell it to Hollywood, and that's how they cut costs um, or make their money. I'm fine with that. I think it's okay. I mean, Hollywood's I trying, I to co- trying to collect <laughs> right, this data yeah. anyway. Um, I yeah. think that's a decent uh, money data privacy trade-off. Like, I, I mm-hmm. bought the stuff. Um, the only bad thing is... Uh, they, they're getting cut off on the online ticket ordering. So, uh, now I've got to wait for my movie pass, uh, debit card to come in the mail, which is, oh, they, they preload an amount of money on your card and you just hand that to the cashier to get your actual tickets. Oh, so it's like an oh. actual, yeah. If interesting, if, uh, if the theater does support the online ticketing, uh, they can do it right there on your phone. Uh, but just about everything I've seen near Seattle does not. So I've got to wait like a month for my card to get here. That said, hmm. um, they don't charge you and they don't um, start your subscription until uh, you get your card in the mail, which is nice. Huh. Yeah, that because that would be really shitty. He's like, hey, we're charging you for this service that you yeah, still can't exactly. use. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> so it's nice. I've, I've got some time yeah. before that kicks in. I'll, I'll totally have a full review when I get to it. I'm yeah. thinking about doing that because it's cheaper for me to do that than to just go see one movie. I agree. So I might as well just <laughs> get the movie pass and see however many movies I want. And I really want to know how the fuck they're making money at this. <laughs> because, I mean, <laughs> if you think about... probably losing it like crazy hoping well, okay, it catches okay. on. It's, it's Silicon Valley, right? It's a standard Silicon Valley company. They just say, hey, uh, we need an angel investor to give us a billion dollars. And the guy goes, why? What's your thing? And they're like, I don't know. We'll make money someday. And the guy's like... <laughs> Half a billion. So it's Tesla. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Tesla's if I remember right, Tesla's yeah. still yet to turn profit. Yeah. So it's it's every single Silicon Valley company. We hmm. promise we'll make money one day, maybe. If and you're lucky. When, when one of those pays off, right, it covers all of the shitty things and the one decent thing, right? So like when when Dropbox mm-hmm. got out of their weird private equity bubble, you know, they made a bunch of money for their investors, which was great. Um, but everything else, like no Twitter for parakeets that didn't take off loses money, and it's it's fucking nuts. I hate the whole thing. Yeah, it's oh either way, it's eh. it's good eh. for us. I don't know how they're making money. It's good for us. That's all I care about. Yeah, we'll we'll see if this actually works. I'm greedy. Yeah, uh, AMC is trying to sue them. How? Why? 
Because the thing is, behind the scenes, they're still paying full price for all the tickets. Yeah, they're not getting like a weird discount mm. or anything. They're actually yeah. paying full price for these movie tickets. So you pay this set price, and they're typically what they're going off of is the old um, like blockbuster motto, where you got those passes for all the movies. Where if you used it a lot, they lost on you. But they're looking for the people who subscribe, don't unsubscribe or underutilize, like a gym membership too. Mm. And that's when they mm. make the money. But yeah. this, mm. you go once, it pays for it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's crazy. It's odd, but I I don't know why movie theaters are are even angry about this because when I go to the movies, I can't not get popcorn. That's just a thing you have to do. That's okay. part of going to the movies. I can. I cannot. Um, They're gonna make money on me either way because I'm buying the ticket right or a movie pass is buying the ticket at full price and I'm buying popcorn. I'm the guy that would always just go to the movie if I went, go in and sit down. If they had a bar, I might grab a beer. That's it. I will yeah. always get popcorn and a drink. Always. The one, uh, the one by my house hmm. has like leather seats, and you can go in and get like a full meal and and beer oh, and wine and nice. everything. It's insane. It has it's like reclining, like big seats, and they have like a little table that rotates in on you and everything. It's pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we need to do it. I'm gonna do it. You gotta tell me how it is. Yeah, I will. But enough of that. Let's get into a little bit of games, shall we? Games. And um, those. Josh, I want to call yes. one thing out right now because you're playing something that me, um, Vidabi, uh, Proto Tricks, and a couple others play a good bit, and I didn't know you ever played it. You've been running some speedrunners. Yeah. I, uh, well, oh, nice. I just, I just, my first. Uh immersion into it uh, i started playing with um bird uh my wife and uh, his wife and then we had rs and uh and shane uh subbing in and out for random games it's a cool game it's really neat there's a there seems to be like a lot to it but you need to play a lot to get good at it i pretty much just got dumpstered by bird the whole time <laughs> <laughs> yeah when you're good you're good huh. it was fun though like it was really cool i like all the intricacies of like you know it, it seems like a it's it feels like a speed run like you know when you speed run a game you want to make sure every jump is perfect and every you know every little mechanic is on point every route you take is the most efficient and that's mm -hmm. what it is that's 100 percent what it is it's cool yeah yeah that's it's one i've seen i've seen uh i've seen them actually stream it a little bit Irk and delaz and i think scott um but i never did pull the trigger on it but it looked kind of fun yeah it's... yeah it, it was uh it, it was good. I really enjoyed it. I, like it was pretty much um, it's pretty much what I expected. Uh, there's mm -hmm. a lot of like characters and stuff that you get as you play through it, but um, it wasn't anything surprising. I guess the only thing surprising is the difficulty of some of the levels. Seem like mm -hmm. a, some of them seem like a little bit uh, a little bit crazy just to dive into, but those mm -hmm. were all locked for me. So, I, so yeah. Bird was yeah. like, "Oh, we're gonna do this level," and I'm like, "What the fuck's going on?" And, and we're just running <laughs> through and dying. <laughs> yeah. And so after you, un after you unlock everything and it starts to feel like it might get dull, they have this roulette hmm. wheel. They'll roll before matches on a certain mode where it randomizes how the items are. Like, there's ones that are all rockets, only rockets, and it gets fucking yeah. crazy. Right, yeah, it looked pretty nuts. Like when I was looking through a lot of this stuff, like when I was looking through like what's available, there's like DLC stuff available. There's it looks like there's also a bunch of workshop stuff available, um, like user made lap, uh, maps, like custom maps. Yes, those are probably like borderline troll maps <laughs> for the most part. Because if there's anything like playing Mario Maker and all those games told me, it's like okay, well you're gonna have like a really good map it's kind of like easy but like really well developed and then you'll have like a ridiculous map that only like the top best of the best can possibly uh mm -hmm. you know what i mean so um but it was good no i really i really really enjoy enjoyed that uh i'll definitely play some more of it so maybe we can get it uh, get in a couple games maybe even a postcast game of it that'd be a lot of fun yeah, yeah. I, those <laughs> they, they go really fast it would be good the only, the only, I think the worst part about it though is there's only four people. I think you could easily add ten people into that game, even though it'd be really hard to keep track of who's who. Um, I think it would be, you know, you could easily do that. I don't mm -hmm. see why that would be a be difficult. They should just have that mode available. So you have like ten people in there just running, and people are dying because they have no idea who they are. It'd be, it'd be chaos. It'd be a lot of fun. Yeah, it would, <laughs> chaos is the word for it. 
<laughs> and it's really quick too per runs which is nice I, mm-hmm. I'm starting to Dota used to get me, but I'm really getting into these shorter run games. Really, yeah, I, Death, I have uh, issues. Fuck Dota. <laughs> I have issues now because I, I love Dota, but I don't want to sit down for 45 minutes and have a shit time. And if a game is going to get mm-hmm. shitty in 10 minutes, I'm stuck. Right. Right. Yes. We're, we're Splatoon. If the game is shitty in the first 30 seconds, which, by the way, in Splatoon, that totally happens. I'm stuck there for <laughs> the next two minutes and 30 seconds. So, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So what else have you been playing, Josh? Uh, yeah. Uh, what else have I been playing? I've been playing a little bit of uh, Fortnite, actually. Um, off and on between, like, playing Rocket League for, you know, getting ready for LCS. Um, just playing a lot of Fortnite. Uh, my wife's really into it, when he, or Bubbles, as most of you know. She's absolutely crushing it. So there's a... a Something I didn't realize is that game actually gets kind of difficult. Like, it's really easy early on, and uh, and I was kind of a little turned off from it, mm-hmm. getting into it. Like, it was cool, and then the game was fun and all, but once you get in, like, the, the crazier levels and the crazier, like, uh, monsters and mobs, they just start, like, throwing shit at you. And, like, <laughs> so you have to really utilize everything you've been building up, and it's really good. Um, so I've been really enjoying that. I, a lot of times I just look over and watch her play and yeah. she's and she's doing some crazy stuff and with like some really high level people and i'm like what the fuck's going on over there like <laughs> it's it's really cool yeah, yeah I, I, so still that one, I still haven't played fortnite i don't i don't know if i'm gonna jump on that until it becomes free to play though mm-hmm. right i mean it's it's one of those ones that like if you don't play it you're not like you're not necessarily missing anything crazy it's mm-hmm. a, but if you're looking for a game and you're like, eh, I want to play a game that's that's gonna be fun and not a complete waste of my time, like that one's really solid. It's just a, it's just a solid game. Yeah, you know, um, but it's 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 definitely something you you want to dive into. Like if if you if you don't have a game that you're that you're playing, definitely do Fortnite. Do they have a release date yet for free to play? No, that, I didn't see one. There might be or one like out a window there, but or a time frame of some sort. They're planning on doing it at the beginning of the next year, of okay. this coming up year. So they're that's the plan. And if that's how it goes, great. Um, I know that they they recently posted that there's going to be a big update coming uh, on the 29th, which is a weird date because it's a Tuesday. Um, mm-hmm. The big update coming out. Uh, and then after after that one, the next update, apparently they're getting rid of all of the uh, early access stuff. So okay. like, there's certain like early access crates that you're getting just for playing during this time, and they're going to get rid gotcha. of those. And like, okay, we're starting. At, so I'm assuming that's when they're going to uh, kick it into free to play. Um, okay, waiting might be fine. You know, uh, it might not be that far out. Really, I, I just envision it like. Kind of getting burnt out on it and then moving on to another game before that happens. But I don't know. So far, they've been introducing um, a steady stream of monsters. And I keep thinking that, like, oh, you're going to run out. I mean, it's early access game. What do you have, like, right. two, three monsters normally? And this yeah, one, they have, like, absolutely. you know, they have 12, 13 different kinds of monsters and they keep That's adding good, more. Though. It's great. That's good. It sounds like they're doing a good job of updating it regularly, which is another, you know, kind of early access big fault a lot of, of games make absolutely it seems like there's a couple early access titles out there that are i i feel like the new the new generation of early access titles are going to actually be more of a complete game um yeah. it's that's what it seems like especially with with some of the ones that i've seen that have been coming out um especially well, like i heard eric talking about gigantic and how that one seems to be more of a complete game. And, I, and from what I overheard, is that an early access game as well? It used to be. It just oh, launched hmm. like a month or two ago. Oh, okay. So oh, okay. The, okay. That's, the, that's not so bad. But yeah, anyway. But it so launched. Yeah. That's a good sign. <laughs> that's, a, yeah. that's great. <laughs> but that's already got done eventually. There is that's one, already a... There's one important thing to call out when we start talking early access. Um, not many games can do this with PlayStation, though. I think this is what bit No Man's Sky. Oh, um, yeah, Xbox has a preview area where they put early access. Steam doesn't give a fuck. Put whatever you want on. However, right. PlayStation does not allow early access. Don't tell Epic Games that, but PlayStation does not allow it. 
I think the only reason that they got around it is because this is an early access game that had a physical fucking release, which is beyond bizarre, but... (laughs) <laughs> right, I I still don't get. The, I just still don't understand the game as far as it being like, uh, get, uh like I still don't understand the game as it is. It exists. It's done. It feels like a mm-hmm. totally finished game, and it's still early access. I mean, I said that last time, and it still stands now. The deeper mm-hmm. I go into it, it just seems, it seems like a like a really big game. Like a, you can spend a lot of time on it. It's good, mm-hmm. but um. Yeah, so that's been that's been really good. Other than that, just the just the same old, same Wake old up, Rocket League Wake again. Up. Yeah, no sleeping huh? on the podcast, damn it. <laughs> yeah, no I know. Sleeping. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. Wake up, uh, grab a that- little makeup. How does Cars fade away to shake up? Oh, God. What? <laughs> Th- thanks. Yeah, that. Now our now our VOD's gonna be muted. Oh, thanks, because yeah. that was, it was so on. accurate. It really was. <laughs> So speaking of that, we should probably uh, talk about RLCS a little bit. You did mention that we've been practicing for it, but you didn't mention that we played it today. We did. Which was a lot of fun, actually. Um, uh, yeah. We did one two weeks ago. We got mm-hmm. to the, what, semi-quarter finals? Right. Mm-hmm. And then dropped to the loser's bracket, got to that same point in the loser's bracket, and then you know finally got knocked out. Right. Um, but any team that signs up for RLCS this season gets two chances. There's four different qualifiers, and you can sign up for up to two. So we did our second one today. Um, went pretty well. Uh, mm-hmm. We got to, I believe, the same point or the step behind that. What, what did we get to today? Uh, I keep round forgetting. seven, I think. We got to round seven. So losers round seven, which is right behind the quarterfinals. We got knocked out in the quarterfinals okay. before. So okay. uh, not that crazy, More or less the but, same place. but it was fine. Like It was good. It was a lot of fun. Um, we met another team that wants to play with us another time, so that's cool. Nice. Added some friends. Nice. Uh, both RLCSs. That's actually how we met some of our our good friends now that play under 72 pin connector we met during the last RLCS. That's right. This The current 72 pin connector Rocket League team it was the team that knocked us out of RLCS last time. Yeah, that's awesome. And then, <laughs> Thanks, um, guys. <laughs> and, then, uh, and then now they actually made yeah. it to the play-ins. So congratulations. Yes. They made it this week. This Tuesday, I think, is was when their game went. Uh-huh. And they made it... Um, they made it to the playing stage, so you know, root for them, cheer them on. That's the seventy-two pin connector team. You'll see them on there. They did uh, fucking on those list. ass. <laughs> so, um, explain explain this to me. So, how exactly uh-huh. do the plans work? Because I'm not entirely familiar with the the tournament structure of RLCS. I'm not a hundred percent sure yeah, either. As far as I can, this season it's not like it was last oh, season. Okay. So, okay. I'm, so I'm not. I don't know exactly how the plans work. I think the plans are another bracket. I don't think it's a round robin because it's 160 something teams, so it's yeah. not going to be a round robin. Right. It's another bracket system, but that neck the next bracket gives mm-hmm. you a reset. Before, when you went through to week two, what happened is uh, when you get into week two, you were where you were. So if you made it to week two in the losers bracket, you're going to continue through in the losers bracket. This time, you're going to reset back up to the top. So you know you still get two chances to get. You know you could. Still double elimination, and you still get all your chances to do the whole thing, even okay. if you made it there through the loser's bracket. So I'm going to have right. to wait until next year to see 32-pin connector versus 72-pin connector <laughs> on the stage at the <laughs> grand finals. Funny. Oh, no. That no that's not cool. that, that <laughs> Maybe be fantastic. that. You'll see. You nobody might. got time for that. <laughs> <laughs> so um, we, we do have to call out the 72-PC Rocket League team. So, so you guys want to shout out some handles here? Give give props, give mad props live on the show. Oh oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah, sure. So, so Vanner uh Vonner Vanner. Vonner. I yeah, clarified I with that him with that with him today after the stream. I, I always are, I <laughs> always say his name I've both heard. ways and then yell at him. <laughs> Veneer. So, uh, mm-hmm. yeah, so Veneer uh, of v- v- no. uh, Vonner <laughs> B, uh, BP uh Digo and flux are is the rocket league team currently and they mm-hmm. have been uh doing quite well it's yeah. uh they've been go get, just getting all geared up i think bp just built his new computer so you'll see him streaming soon we'll make sure to have that uh linked below once he once he gets all those going um yeah so yeah just keep rooting them on they're they're awesome dudes and just yeah they're stop and chat say hey nice nice <laughs> So that's pretty much all you've been doing then. 
um, Adam. Pretty much. You yeah. ran. Lo- you ran Lost and Found this week. I did. Yes. How about and you it tell us about this? One. I watched yeah, a little so, bit of this. I did. Uh, wh- I don't know what point you watched, Tom. Um, the beginning was a little rough because this game is hard to learn. It's very difficult. Uh, the game is called Ballistic. Um, I don't know that that's the only game called ballistic on steam i'm sure there's a couple um there's actually a ballistic spelled differently that i accidentally installed in preparation for lost and found but it wasn't the one i was gonna play so before i actually streamed lost and found i had to download it real oh, quick no. yeah i was like oh no because the other one has an extra k on the end it's like some kind of stick figure fighting game Oh, that sounds good too, though. That also sounds like well, a good time. Yeah. Yeah, it was actually, it looked kind of fun too. So I might actually play that at some point now that it's installed. Might as well, you know? Right. But right. Um, Ballistic is a physics based game where you play as this, like, sphere, this ball, if you will. And, um, you know, depending on, you can use WASD to kind of roll around. You have a jump button. You have what's called a mega drive which is like you know whatever direction you're looking with the camera which is controlled by the mouse movement you know you left click and you dash really fast in that direction and every time you come in into contact with a surface or something you that dash resets so you can use it you know basically once per jump or if you come in contact with something you can use your mega drive again and it it's it's really hard to navigate because you have that limitation. If you accidentally fling yourself off really far somewhere and you lose that jump and you're not coming into contact with anything, you have to actually wait until you fall to the ground and then you can, you know, try again. And it's one of those games where, you know, getting used to the physics takes some time and it's kind of hard to control at first, but then you start to get the hang of it and then you're starting to like fly across the map and, you know, hitting the surface and launching off the other way. It was, uh, anybody that watched the stream, you would have noticed definitely the first probably 30 minutes was pretty rough to watch because it was just getting familiar with the controls and stuff. From Yeah. I was walking to the bus and I'm watching this. I'm like, Adam, you kind of suck at this. <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't say it's that. Tough. I just I saw you hitting a wall, then falling off of it, then hitting the wall again and falling off of it, and that happened like three <laughs> yeah. times. I'm like, yeah. huh? Okay, I guess I'll go back to trying to get this thing to work for the website. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, it's I, kept, I kept you on the second monitor. Don't worry. I just wasn't yeah. paying attention. So so it's a really beautiful <laughs> game. Um, I guess. Y- you go through these levels and you have objectives. So you you're using the physics to kind of navigate and you might say, you know, hit all these robots off of this area. And you might have this big, this first level was like this big giant room, super tall ceilings. And then there's these like floating orbs everywhere that you can use to bounce off of or whatever. And then there's like a robot over top of each one. And your goal is to hit the robot down into the pit. And I did this level, I'm not even kidding, I think it took me like 30, 32 minutes, something like that. Damn. I fell to, asleep to on to the bus watching robots. you play yeah. it. <laughs> but then I played the next round, and it took me like, what, five minutes? Seven minutes, maybe? Yeah. So, it, it's uh, it's definitely different. And there are people, you can kill those people. You know, I think the last match I played, the only objective was to kill 50 people. So, you've got this oh, big... Jesus. And this one was outside. This map was outside, which, by the way, all the maps are gorgeous. It's in the Unreal Engine. A um, lot of nice lighting effects and lens flare and shiny surfaces and all kinds of goodies and stuff. Um, it's very pretty. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but it was like this big open area, and there's all these like monolith-like rock structures. And there's people on top of some of them and people on the ground, and there's robots shooting at you and all these little platforms you can jump on and the whole thing was to kill 50 people with your (laughs) spinning orb of death (laughs) and i ended up getting all 50 people it took a while uh that one was kind of long and then i hit the outside boundary that kills you and when you die if you die anywhere on the map it's you start over get good son so oh you might get you know, some maps have more than one objective. Um, I think the second map had uh, three. I had to, like, find this one thing and hit it, and then I had to kill a certain amount of people, and then I had to get to the the last little whatever. I forget what it was called, like a nav teleporter or something. 
And if you, you know, get two objectives done and then you die somehow, then you have to start all the way over. So oh, I nice. killed 50 people. It took forever. And I had to start all the way over because I hit the outside boundary. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. It was rough. But it's really cool when you start to get the hang of it. Um, you know, every time you come in, co- in contact with the surface, you can jump again or launch in whatever direction you're looking with the camera. So one of the little tricks I found was if you go up to a wall and you constantly look at the wall and spam your jump button, you know, every time you come in contact with that wall, you jump off of it and then you come in contact with the wall again and you can get zooming fast straight up a wall doing that. And there's all these little tricks like that that you you kind of figure out as you're playing. It's very it's very skill physics based game. Hmm. It's really interesting. Yeah, and um if you wanted to kind of get a glimpse of it, there's two clips that we clipped out. Uh, <laughs> one of them is highlighting Adam's battle cry. The other <laughs> is um, it actually kind of shows you like this soundtrack on this game is really fucking oh rad. My God. Yeah. If you're familiar with the genre synth wave or some people call it retro wave, I've heard it called outrun. It's this really, really eighties influenced uh, electronic music. Um, you know, Perturbator, Mega Drive. Um, I'm trying to think of some others. Carpenter Brute. You've probably heard some of this stuff if you've been on the internet for a little while now. Um, it's really cool style of music. It's awesome. And the whole soundtrack is that. So it's got so much vibe. It's hmm. It was awesome soundtrack. And the spot that was clipped, it is just a badass mm-hmm. section of like this ro- synth rock just comes in. And Adam goes <laughs> slow-mo bullet time and is just mowing through these fuckers. Oh, yeah. That's 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 bullet scared. time. Yeah. There's bullet time. You hit shift and it goes into bullet time for a little well, bit. Well, why not? Every game should have yeah. bullet time. So, yeah. It's really <laughs> funny. It's the instant I, I badass you, button. Yeah. I didn't know you clipped those. I'd like to go back and watch those at some point. Yeah, Ballistic, it was a lot of fun. Um, I think it's like 12 or 13 bucks on Steam. You know, maybe it'll go on sale or something, but uh, that's not going to be the only time I play it. So I was actually pretty pleasantly surprised with that. Right. Yeah, that was a lot better than the first one we did. Um, And I actually think next week, Tom's going to run it. We don't know what game yet. But Tom will be running the Wednesday Lost and Found. I'm there's, sure Tom uh, has... There's a small game called Half-Life 2 <laughs> that I've never played before. <laughs> that's so breaking gonna, the rules. So the rules of Lost and Found is, if you don't know what Lost and Found is, it's a series we just started every Wednesday. One of us will play a game that we've owned for a while on Steam, but we've never played before. Um, anybody that's bought a Humble Bundle probably knows that feeling. You've got these games in your Steam library you might have bought on sale or something, or you got in a Humble Bundle, and you never bothered to actually play it. Maybe you got distracted or something. So and we're starting to go through those games, and this was one of them. And we're not yeah. doing this. Oh, I have Borderlands Two, and I've never played it. And we're also we're <laughs> yeah. also right. not, not exactly. doing the. Hey, I bought Hotline Miami Two, and I put twenty hours into the first game, but I've never played the second. That doesn't yeah. count. Yeah. Right. We're, no, we're, that doesn't this count. is like, what the fuck is a virus named Tom? And should right. I play this on stream? Right, yeah. a lot of it's yeah. almost like a contest to find the weirdest title anyway yeah. <laughs> in yeah. your own library. Like what? I started you know, what off I pretty weird. I saw this game. I saw this game. I was like, oh, that looks fun, and I bet nobody's heard of it. So that'll be yeah. a good one to do. <laughs> in in fact, I don't think Twitch had a thumbnail for it on the metadata. Yeah, yeah. I noticed yeah, that. That's, 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 that's how good. you know it's a lost and found game. That's how you know you're really yeah, fucking fringe. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's it's basically just uh, you know hipster streamer 101 is what we'll be we'll be <laughs> we should change yeah. the title yeah. too. Yeah. It's I, I still great. stick to the humble bundles the best because I've bought in bundles because oh I like those two games. But if I pay right. three more bucks, I get fifty I've never Dude, heard of. It's a good gonna, deal. If we're gonna <laughs> do like the hipster stream, do I have to get an argyle scarf and like a, a pipe? No, you just need yeah. to keep doing everything you can Absolutely. to make gaming difficult. Okay. Okay, cool. Right. That's you need to play way. with a typewriter. <laughs> hey, I've got a keyboard that sounds like a, time, a typewriter. So you have a keyboard writer. that sounds like you're using not, a fucking not hammer. Enough. Not good enough. It needs to be a full-blown oh, typewriter. Damn. Okay, yep. I'll get right on it. I'll get it. But I think that pretty much covers that. Uh, Lost and Found next week. Tom, bringing you something you'll find out. Probably we'll tweet out by Monday, we're hoping. I'm thinking, but, I'm thinking something in the Super Mario Brothers like mainstream platforming like super mario Bros. Hmm. 2 i've never heard yeah. of that game yeah hmm. try that try that Lost one out levels? what's that one like? weird. yeah that'd be a weird that'd be a weird <laughs> <laughs> speaking of what you're going to be playing what have you played tom 
Um, I played some Doom last night. Some Doom 2016, not like old school nice. Doom, oh. like modern Doom. Did you That's try so the good. revamp multiplayer yet? I did. How I is did. It? Um, way better than when it launched. Okay. Way better. Good. Nice. Um, still not enough to. Uh, recommend the game based on multiplayer alone like it's still single player first and i that's not a criticism i love that about the mm -hmm. new doom what if i yeah. told you that it was not mock, more, uh, that it was marked down to 20 bucks is i saw it, that is it worth multiplayer Ooh. for 20 bucks i'd say no well okay so you're getting the full package for yeah. 20 bucks for I'm say it was just multiplayer just multiplayer um if you're really hurting for an unreal tournament style game Yes. If you want, like, the progression system of Call of Duty mixed with the feel of almost knockoff Unreal Tournament 2004, mm -hmm. yes, it would be worth $20. Um, hmm. the, game, the game feels good. I actually I came in second on my team, which was a fucking miracle, because I'm trash at arena shooters that are fast like that. Um, <laughs> yeah. AKA, he's trash at shooters. Yeah, basically. <laughs> <laughs> Just, okay, ask, ask RS. Him and I have played Counter-Strike before. Like, he's, like, fucking... <laughs> killing people and one-shotting people 360 no scoping throughout the entire stage and i'm just <laughs> that like that sounds like rs yeah i'm just like yeah. what's a grenade <laughs> oh god i died um <laughs> but yeah the doom multiplayer is really much better it's not fantastic by any means but i'm gonna go back to it um i have a reason to play multiplayer now but the reason i fired it up is to go through the single player on a higher difficulty and mm. it is a higher difficulty. It is it is difficult, <laughs> which which is ridiculous because I'm not playing on nightmare or ultra nightmare. I'm, pr I'm playing on not hurt plenty, but bring it on or something like that. Basically, yeah. the, not medium, <laughs> but hard difficulty, not like insane yeah. or super insane. And it's still right. kicking my ass every nice. Um, wow. But it's it's fucking fast. Um, my computer was trying to do some backups over a network at the time. So I'd get these weird <laughs> lag spikes, which is fine <laughs> if you're playing a you know any other game that's that's turn based. But I'm playing Doom, and literally the three frames that would drop, I would get killed because of that. <laughs> oh, because wow. I, it just it just timed that's... me out, and I got out of sync, mm. and a demon bit my head off. But it's As demons wow. do. Yeah, nice. So that's I, fun. I've... I've seen a lot of that game. I've seen little bits and pieces of the story, but what I, the the majority of that game that I've seen was a speed run. Have you ever watched that game, Speed Run? I have. No. It's insane. It's the most insane thing ever. Like they are not on the map floor ninety percent of the time. Yeah. <laughs> so well, I was like, I watched the whole thing, and I was like, oh, it's gonna spoil Doom for me. I've never played it before, but I really want to play it sometime. It doesn't spoil. It, it, does, it doesn't spoil a damn thing. Yeah. There's nothing. <laughs> There's nothing happening. They're like, oh, all right, we're going to beat the next boss and the boss is dead and we're moving. And I'm like, wait, 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 you didn't even go into the world. Like, you've been like <laughs> hopscotching on like little like uh, wall elements that like, like oh, and there's an invisible wall here. And they're like climbing yeah. higher. You're like, dude, like, what it's is this fucking that nuts, you're doing? The whole thing. It's awesome. So good. Wow. Watch them. Watch this. Those, are, those speed runs are great. And the great thing about that, the game was designed to be played fast. I remember pre-release mm -hmm. videos when the campaign that developers are like, this is a, what we're calling push forward game that mm -hmm. if you're mm -hmm. not advancing as quick as you can, you're going to die. Um, that, that's not marketing buzz like literally i was trying to take cover because i was getting my my shit wrecked and the game mm. actively sent people at me to try to kill me like i yeah, actually nice. went the wrong way because i got turned around in the mayhem and i started walking backwards through the level like mm -hmm. this dude was like one-shotting me from across the map the, <laughs> oh the wow really wants you to push forward and if you're not you will die crazy yeah. It's, That's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. It's a, it's a nice way to kind of corral the player forward and make you feel like a badass when everything works out. Um, Glory yes. kills. Yeah. So I beat Sonic <laughs> Mania. Nice. Ooh, nice. Um, I heard was that, it? Um, How, what's the actual, final verdict? Yeah, I say I heard level wise, it's kind. I don't want to say short, but it's not like a a long play. It's like uh, about mid tier, like two thirds of what you would expect out of a Sonic game. No, I, I would say, like, if you're comparing it to the original Genesis version, um, it's uh, a little bit longer than what you would expect. Think, think the length okay. of Sonic 3 uh, with Sonic and Knuckles. Okay. So, so okay. about like I, that, probably maybe a little shorter, um, but still totally worth the money to pick that up. It is a wonderful game. I think it launches in three days on Steam. It, I, it, the, I hits heard PC it's here soon. 29th, I believe. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And I got I, a suggestion for anyone who's going to pick it up on Steam. 
you can play it with mouse and key, or you can play it with keyboard. But yeah, do yourself but, a favor. Yeah, just don't if nothing do else, don't get you a cheap ass USB classic controller. Get the feel of nostalgia while you're playing this because it plays like a legit old school Sonic game. And I, I know everyone That's out there cool. has got an Xbox 360 controller they're using on their PC. Don't don't play Sonic with that D-pad. Don't hurt yourself that way. Oh, not that D-pad. That's yeah. the worst D-pad that's ever <laughs> now been that, D-padded. That said, I played this on the Switch, which <laughs> didn't actually have a real D-pad either. It had the four uh. buttons, and it, it worked decently well, but I was... I was missing my Genesis controller. Well, because really you was. don't need to yeah. roll like you do with fighting games. That's Sonic. true. That's true. It worked. Mm. It worked well enough. Um, but yeah, go out. Um, if you hit our YouTube page, you can look at <laughs> my review of the 8-bit dough NES 30 Pro, which is a controller I wholly recommend. Um, go out and, and buy one of those because they're great. Um, I have a, we're not we're not uh, sponsored by them, by the way. Tom just right. like yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, we, we just love that really endorse the piss out of that controller. We would love uh, to be sponsored, but uh, we are not. Yeah, please, eight bit If you just want to send me some free shit, I will put banners <laughs> all around the podcast. I will Tom's get a flag. Eight bit dough seventies two. Actually, if you could do podcast. that, we could put a banner over his face. <laughs> And I would enjoy oh, yeah. this. I'll get a so tattoo much. across my face, a face tattoo, no. tribal eight bit dough. Wow. You can't there. say that. You can't say no, that. No, 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 Retract no. that immediately because the we put a paper bag over your face with their logo printed on it. I'm totally, <laughs> totally into that. <laughs> totally. Into Tom, that. I have a question for you on the on Sonic Mania, and I heard that the final boss in that game is amazing, but shouldn't be spoiled. Do you um, agree? It was amazing. Okay, people were saying I, it was I don't know. really I all, good. So this is not a spoiler because Chaos Emeralds are part of every Sonic game. I did not get all the Chaos Emeralds, so I'm pretty sure I didn't see the actual final boss. So you didn't actually uh, beat the game. I you're got just the beat- bad ending. I beat the game, but I got uh, the bad ending. So you're a uh, puss. Uh, yes. Was yeah. there a boss? There was a boss. It was it was good, but it wasn't amazing. So clearly, I haven't seen the actual mm. final boss. Okay. Well, it's right. yeah, like I heard, I heard the 64. final boss is really good. I'm I'm playing through this again with Knuckles. Um, there's a nice a nice little uh, nod to Sonic fans after you beat the game, even with the bad ending. Uh, that I'm not going to spoil, but it was fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, go out and buy it. Totally worth the money. Uh, other than that, I fired up Arms for about an hour. Yeah. Um. And still, is the community still alive, still there since Splatoon came out? I didn't play online, so I I don't know. Um, I'm curious mm. to see if that community was just a competitive community that soon as their game came out as Splatoon, they're like, fuck this, we're there. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I think happened. Um, Compared Mm. to Splatoon, ARMS is... It's ARMS. It's it's okay. I won't cut it down (laughs) because they're trying something new and it wasn't awful. Yeah, it wasn't bad. It's not bad by any means, but this is... I'd pay 20 bucks for ARMS right now, as I, I think would mm-hmm. be an appropriate price point for that game. You paid the Switch tax. I did. I paid 60 it. bucks. <laughs> I paid this the day it came out, and I bought it, and I read reviews, and and now I want $40 back. Um, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Super Hot VR. I completed that. Um, nice. It breaks some VR rules. Um, but it VR does, rules. Yeah, so <laughs> it's a really short game, and I, I kind of feel okay spoiling it. Should, should mm-hmm. I? This is, this is up to you guys. I totally can. Don't talk story. There is no story. Yes, there is. Super Hot has a story. Super Hot VR does not have a story. Okay, okay, okay. So I was going to say, because oh, okay. yeah. the Super Hot story, while very light, is kind of cool. It's So from what but I anyway, saw, it was, it, I probably have to play through Super Hot to get what they're trying to do in Super oh, Hot VR. Oh, you've never played Super Hot? I've played it. I've never beaten it. I don't think I own Super Hot. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I think I just own VR. I'm kind of appalled right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's it's a game that's totally up my alley. It's some hipster indie game with low poly graphics. Like that's got Tom written all over it. Um, yeah, it's a good time. It's definitely a good time. But uh yeah. So it does some weird things. So it has you step off a ledge and it makes you look down at the ground. Like with VR, it's really weird. You avoid physically walking through tables even though they're not there because it fucking feels weird to be an ethereal <laughs> ghost walking through a goddamn table yeah. right it yeah, feels right. really weird walking through doors or walls and some mm-hmm. vr games actually require you to do that and it's mm-hmm. really disorienting 
um, super hot VR makes you walk off of a ledge and look down when and you're standing oh. <laughs> in thin air and it just looks fucking weird. And <laughs> as soon as you're starting to feel even the slightest bit comfortable, the game drops your character model. Like you plummet and you're looking oh. down and you fall towards the ground. Wow. Yeah, you Crazy. probably should have said that because that is kind of a cool impact. Like, <laughs> spoiler alert. <laughs> It's it's fucking weird. Um, that said, this is, this is for the people who own Vive and Oculus Rifts, like the seventeen people out there playing super hot VR. Um, there's there's weird stuff like uh, stuff clipping through your plane of vision that I've never seen done in a VR game before. It wasn't anything uh, ridiculous, but I do feel like I spent the appropriate amount of money on the game. Do you understand nice. what you're doing? And I don't mean like you're playing the game. I mean like. As far as what the game's trying to convey to you, do you understand what you're doing when you're playing super hot? It never went into that. If you played super, I'm sure if you played super hot and went into this, it would make perfect sense. But here, it's so light that it, it literally, the story is incomprehensible. I know I'm a dude and there's other dudes and I killed them and I destroyed this weird thing. And other than that, I don't know any part of this story. I know nothing. Yeah, it's play 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 super hot at some point because some yeah. of the stuff you're saying is weird. You might actually think's kind of not a, a good idea. So once you know where it's coming from, yeah, it's it's interesting. If you've got a VR rig, super hot VR, well worth the purchase. Um, I'm gonna skip talking about Gigantic because I'll talk about that tonight because it's our postcast game. But one thing I did want to hit is Dark Souls Three. Josh and I played Dark Souls. Yes, we did. We didn't die. Finally. Don't don't watch the vods. We didn't die even once. Um, no, no, no. It was great. We wrecked, those numbers are a lie. We wrecked everyone that that even approached us, that even looked at us. We just murdered everything. We one shot. Yeah, we the didn't whole have thing. to really move. Yeah, we we really just speed ran the game, and I think we've completed it now four times um, in what an hour. So that's, that's right. Well, yeah, because the first time. Yeah, yeah, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah. That, those before numbers, you guys get into right. it, want to throw this out there. Um, these guys are going to be running this every Thursday, roughly 9 p.m. Eastern time, uh, give or take a little bit because, yeah, life a little bit. But around that right. time, <laughs> every Thursday, they're going to keep going on this. You can watch them lie about their deaths all you want, but now continue. Yeah, so <laughs> we actually made some progress. We had a really good run. Yeah, we did. It was it was pretty fun. Like. Uh, just like you know, not actually dying, but you know, theoretically dying a lot, but getting better, kind of getting to grips of how the uh, how the game works, and it, it's been really, it's really pretty. Like it's really fun. The areas are really unique. Um, I'm hoping that as we get through it, uh, it just it, it just keeps giving because <laughs> it seems to be really big. It seems I like quite a big game. So when we were playing for the first two days, and unfortunately, uh, if you've seen the day three run or the VODs on Twitch, uh, we are putting those on YouTube, but day two has been lost to the techno gods. Um, it, is, yes. it is unsalvageable. So um, <sighs> yeah, it's, it's bad. Sorry but, about that. <laughs> uh, so day one and day two, we were constantly getting invaded and constantly getting fucked oh, yeah. up by all these dudes that would just come in and wreck us with high level gear. Um, I think we've gotten past that because the last time we got invaded, this guy was very normal. He used very normal tactics. He had very, right. very, very normal gear. And Josh and I kicked his fucking ass because it was a two on one fight. Right. It was a totally unfair, unreasonable thing that we did. And yeah. it was great. And it, it worked out. We slaughtered <laughs> so, him. And then only moments before that I was on, I think. So what ended up happening is we're, we're, we're coming to a, a strange situation where we're trying to multiplayer this whole game out, right? Like mm -hmm. we're trying to play through the whole game multiplayer and that's a lot harder than we thought because you don't play through Dark Souls necessarily 100% multiplayer. Most of the time you, you know, you're going to play through chunks and you meet up with your friends, help them out and, you know, jump in, jump out kind of thing, right? Uh, we're trying to get through it 100% just together simultaneously. So early game, there's only a few embers that you get to use. And once you run out of those embers, no more multiplayer. Multiplayer's over. You can't, you know, we can't continue that. So I got to the point because, you know, I died a lot, theoretically. Mm -hmm. Not really. Um, <laughs> I died, no, I died a lot. And 
I ran out of embers. I ended up buying two embers uh, from the shopkeep. I guess I think I bought all of them at one point, but I, the two last embers we bought. And when we got to the fog gate on mine, right as soon as we got to the fog gate, we both died yep. to an invisible invader. I have the no person, idea. If you what can, they were I doing. have not watched. I, I have not I watched remember. the VOD back, but I did see that actually. I, it, that was weird. <laughs> I don't know if yeah. because it was it was for both of us, right? Like if it was on one of right. our screens that it was invisible. Okay, it's like lag or it didn't look properly. I right, get that, like something's. It was it was both of us, so it makes me think it's not something on our end, and maybe it was a dude cheating and invading like i maybe it was an item i, I honestly baby, i don't know yeah i don't, I don't know. know i don't know enough about dark souls to say like oh there's a sp- oh yeah i guess what there's a spell and you go to this and you kill like 13 <laughs> bosses in the correct order and then you roll the dice and then you get yeah. an invisible invisibility spell and what josh, like, uh, what josh said just there sounds ridiculous and sounds like a rumor you'd hear on like uh, neo right. cities way back in the day <laughs> but in fucking dark souls that's the way shit works yeah, because in uh, in Dark Souls there was um, if you get through the whole game without Dark Souls two get through the whole game without getting hit, not using bonfires or some shit like that, like you get one ring on for one hand, one ring for the other. One gives you like I forget what it gives you. I don't remember what they were. It was it's been a long time, but they each give you like two really ridiculous buffs. So someone could it could just be an item and we're like oh he's cheating and like, yeah. you're like no nah, dude you're an idiot he's just using the invisibility spell you can easily see that <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh, it, in any case it seemed op as fuck because we were just standing right. there and we died and it so then now we're on one life right yeah it's essentially like i had one ember left and we go into the final boss and i'm like sweating you can see me in the in the vod i'm just like oh fuck the whole time i'm just like uh i'm gonna blow this <laughs> so tom's going ham as he as as toms do and uh, and then he ends up falling when we have like one sliver left yep and i'm like and i'm just like super like pooping my pants at that <laughs> point <laughs> just running in circles hoping hoping i can get I was, an opening for one I was final watching hit the stream at this point and josh was playing the most conservative i have ever seen josh <laughs> play anything ever it was kind I'm of like, hilarious i'm like all I'm thinking about is this one ember that I have that I've used <laughs> that I do not have anymore. And then I'm like, and then I finally get an opening and I'm all pop, 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 and it's over. So it was great. So we, <laughs> we made it to the next area, progressed, and it was good. But uh, we started going through the majority of it and we realized like, oh, I'm going to have to do that as well. Like, yeah. we got through most of it with Tom. And then like, we got to a point where like, oh, well, this is further along in the game. Like, we don't necessarily have want to like do this again, considering like we're actually pretty low on embers still. So I just kind of ran that section on my own, and you can watch that uh, that portion of it as well. I ran like a whole chunk of it on my own, and then met up with Tom, where hmm. we're currently sitting, getting ready for the next installment. So so one of us will, be one of us this- will hit a save point, hit a bonfire, and then the other one has to speed run through the game without any help to get to the bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of right. ridiculous wow so so that's basically what i did on the first one we did i i literally speed ran it like i didn't hit i didn't fight anyone and this one i actually kind of like just was a little bit more tactical and walked my way through it because there was a lot of enemies on this one like mm. guys shooting black semen at you and everything it was insane <laughs> yeah it was it was kind of ridiculous gross yeah right you, you did hear that correctly <laughs> by the way um, yeah, that's accurate. <laughs> but but that's, that's all I've been playing. Um, Irk, I, I know you played the postcast game that we're doing tonight, today, because you have to get through like a tutorial and bot match first or something like that, right? Yeah, I wanted to kind of see this game a little bit before postcast, so at least a few of us know what's going on. I know Dark Soul Invader knows what's going on, but I wanted to make sure some more of us did. So I downloaded it, started playing it. It's deemed a MOBA, but... This is not really a MOBA. I mean, there's some elements of it, but it's not. There's no lanes. There's no creeps. There's no items. It's a, there's a lot going on in gigantic. This reminds me of like a, just a hero based control point game where control points aren't needed, but it's a control point game where you're invading the enemy base. There, there, there's a little extra thing that's weird over the top with the two hero things but all in all this is more of a hero based game like i don't want to say overwatch next it's not really a shooter 
some of the players play like a shooter. Some of them play more melee, but it's, it's, I think when you put MOBA on it, people automatically get turned off because they think the super complex League of Legends, Dota kind of stuff. I think it is mm -hmm. super complex though. So, no. so when, when I looked at it, it's, there's a whole lot going on in that game. Probably, probably not like Dota levels of shit going on because you know, from what I've seen, there's no shop. But there's like creatures and then you can use your ultimate to grow or adult those creatures and but, then there's a health bar and then there's some weird like stage back and forth thing and then there's big creatures that rumble and you've got to do like kill people while they're fighting each other king kong style so all you need to do as a node player is this kill the opponents and when your big guy pins the other big guy attack that big guy that's all you have to do that is really all you have to do when you win the game why why is the tutorial okay. telling me you can do this thing and this other thing and this thing's kind of important because and there's sure a lot of other just... stuff you can do in tutorials they show you different types of guns and stuff like that yeah but well, you know all you need to do is pick up your my, m16 and run and kill people it doesn't matter that you can put a grenade launcher and switch point, over to a laser sight with it i can shit. boil dota <laughs> down to don't die also kill the building but that's not no, Dota. No, no, no. I mean, you we have even didn't. If you guys, if you guys, okay. Well, uh, for as far as an outsider in on Dota, we did the whole uh, YouTube video of us going through Dota for the first time, me and Adam, and there was a lot to that. And no matter how deep you guys went into it, there was still more to be talked about. We actually had to stop Tom on a number of things because we're like, Tom, you're going too deep into this. We don't. We we got to keep going. But. uh as far as the the uh, gigantic stuff is concerned, like if anybody wants to see what they're talking about, one, I'll be streaming the whole tutorial portion after this. So Which anyone who wants to play with us, you will have to do the tutorial and the, a quick bot match to get to level two. Right. So we'll we'll take care of that. I'll do that simultaneously so we all jump in at the same time. Um, if anyone doesn't have it downloaded yet, get that download going, and then I'll race you. <laughs> let's go <laughs> but i mean it's like the irl there is no <laughs> items that's the biggest thing to me there isn't this over complexity well what items do i build you level up your skills and your skills have two options and you have four skills one of those skills is your main attack yeah, I, one mm. thing I did like is without me having to choose a build or anything like that, it said, hey, you should probably level up your sword thing now. I'm like, oh, cool. I don't know what that does. I swing it. Let's upgrade it. Yeah, if you want to just make this as simple as possible, do your left click, then your right click. And you will do okay. This game is not like... When you have teams and you're strategizing a team, you'll always have an advantage. Right. But this doesn't have ungodly team complexity to it the creatures and stuff can play a factor but you don't need to know about them as long as one person on your team knows what they're doing with it you'll be okay yeah we'll, we'll have to see how this works in the postcast game i hope it's not going to be as dense as it seemed when i ran through it um mm -hmm. that, that said it's, it's not going to be as dense as dota like i, I know that right out <laughs> but I, I think it felt dense because you weren't knowing what to expect that's true. Mm. I, I would, honestly, I went into this expecting Super Monday Night Combat, and what I got was not Super Monday Night Combat. Yeah, I, I like the fact there's no lanes, there's no creeps. There's, there's none of that. It's just you and them. That's it. But either way, that's that. We'll get into that more tomorrow, or tomorrow tonight, after the cast. <laughs> so um, other than that, done a little Rocket League, check. Done a little Splatoon, <laughs> check. Um... <laughs> You can drink I, now. Uh, Kerbal. So Tuesday night cast is Kerbal. Um, this week I planned on getting into orbit around Earth and moon level. Did not get there. Um, uh. I, was able, I was able to do orbit. No problem. Uh, right now my reentry suck. So I'm losing a fuck ton mm. of science. So I don't think I elaborate on this. You have to do science research out in space to unlock mm -hmm. more stuff you can build. But okay. if you can't do the same science over and over and over again because it gives you diminishing returns. So you have to go gotcha. deeper and do different ones. My problem is I can get deep enough to get really good returns, but when I come back, I'm going way too fucking fast and blow the fuck up. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's, oh, uh, that's a problem. Did, did Je do, do you have Jebediah? Is he alive? Jebediah is alive? <laughs> okay. 
All right, because good. the way the good. game works, and yeah, he's actually died a few times, but the way the revert system works in it, he's dead or he's alive. Okay. But he's died numerous times. Damn. You can't lose Jebediah. But he wasn't the one I got in orbit. <laughs> got someone else. It was oh. awesome. Oh. Um, but um, we'll go too in deep about that. The game's good. Good physics engine to it. Um, yeah, it's really good. It's, I don't want to say realistic, but for a video game, it is hyper realistic for a video game for when it comes to rocket lit simulators while being incredibly yeah. goofy. <laughs> um, so if you guys want to see next Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time, no, 10 p.m. Eastern time, 7 p.m. Western time, Pacific <laughs> time, my time, um, Western so, time, time. Figure Western it out. time, Figure it out. 7 p.m. game time, sometime you'll see it. <laughs> um, and also last week and maybe tomorrow I might stream it. I started a new game in No Man's Sky because oh. they had the 30 hour patch. Haven't gotten to any or too much of the new stuff. They switch some stuff around, though. Mm-hmm. Um, I still enjoy the game thoroughly. Um, when I get to the story part, I'll actually talk about it more. For right now, it's just pretty much what the game was before. Uh, they've improved some, added some new character models, so you get some more randomization of characters. Mm. So I, good. I'm enjoying it. It's fun. I think uh, some of the problems people had with that before was that they would notice too many like similar combinations of randomly generated things so what i what frustrates me about what a lot of people had issues with is the game yes if you stayed at the low level planets you saw a lot of the stuff over and over or a variation of the same stuff because i think they had some of the content locked to the higher harder to get to planets Mm -hmm. and people weren't putting the time in to get to them to see the really cool shit Gotcha. Hmm. That makes sense. Like when I started getting to the uh, most the top warp drive planets, I was seeing like these lizard things with wings and these huge T Rex looking guys that were trying to kill me and stuff like that. Nice. So there were some cool stuff. I screenshot and I don't know if I actually uploaded this weird T Rex looking dude that just looked a little off. But yeah, hmm. so some of the stuff's available now on the lower level planets, which is good. But. That's all I've been playing. I won't go in depth about any of that stuff. Like I said, I'll hit No Man's Sky again once I actually get better in the story. Yeah. Um, but there was a good bit of news this week, and I think the news was headlined with what came out a couple days ago. <laughs> and I think um, Tom, since he is the biggest fanboy of that company, let alone game series here, That's I will let Tom guys. talk. It it's, oh my God, it's happening. <laughs> I'll let guys, Tom talk guys, about it. Oh my God. Yeah, fuck it. Take it, Tom. <laughs> All right. All right. So um, about a year plus ago, Mark Laidlaw um, left Valve. He was their head writer dude. He made a bunch of Half-Life story stuff. Um, he decided to post... Um, Epistle 3 on his blog um, and then shared it on Twitter and his blog went went hard down. Um, <laughs> it's uh, basically a small short story about Gertie Friedmont or Gertie Fremont. Um, yeah. Uh, and he's talking about the stuff that happens after Epistle 2. Totally, totally not reading into that at all. So, um, (laughs) Gamers Everywhere took his thing and changed all the names back to the stuff they should be. Um, And we're going to link this in our episode show notes. All you have to do is just Google, like, Half-Life 3 Story Laid Law Corrected or something like that, and it'll pop up. Um, This is, I guess, a a rough draft of the story of Half-Life 2 Episode 3 slash Half-Life 3. Um, He just recently got off NDA, which I don't think legally protects him in any way. I mean, this is still stuff he created at Valve for Valve during his hmm. employment with Valve. So if, if, you know, Valve wanted to sue this guy into the ground, they could. I don't think they're going to do that, though. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, this is the story of Half-Life 3 that was going Crazy. to happen at some point in time. So is this Half-Life 3 or Half-Life 2 Episode 3, and how does that... They're the same differ- thing. Does that differentiate? So they're the same thing. Um... Steam or uh, Valve decided, okay, we're going to try to put out because people keep making fun of us for Valve time. We're going to try to put out episodic content. So they put out episode one. They're like, hey, guys, (laughs) we're going to wait like six more months and we're going to build episode two. And that totally didn't happen. They missed their launch date by a huge, huge amount. Uh, Mm -hmm. So then they put out episode two and they're like, yeah, we're still doing episodic content. And then 
years later, like five years later or something, they said, um, yeah, at this point, we're, we're just going to call it Half-Life 3. We're, we're not even going to release a new episode because clearly it's not episodic. It's just going to be Half-Life 3. So Half-Life 2 Episode 3 and Half-Life 3 are the same thing. Okay. Hmm. hmm. But and now uh, that he's cleared but, that, but wasn't there? See, see, I'm not a Half Life guy, so this these are stupid questions. But um, you've got Half Life One, you've got uh -huh. Half Life Two, and then there's a couple of other. What are the episodes? Uh, and then, episode One and, and Episode Two. Those are those are the main games in the series. You've got um, the little like side story expansion packs. Um, okay, okay. Opposing Force and Blue Shift on Half Life One, and the whole. Um, Black Mesa instant. Black Mesa is a mod using the, the yeah. source engine of okay. Half Life One. Um, then you've got so, two. so when you say Half Life One ep or Half Life Episode One, you're you're just talking about Half Life, the game Half Life. No, then, no, no. no. Half -Life, half -Life, two. Okay. It's Half Life Two right. Episode One and Half Life Two oh. Episode Two. Gotcha. Right. Gotcha. It yeah. got episodic okay. on on the Half Life Two. Yep. Okay. So, yeah, this was going to be Half-Life 2 Episode 3 slash Half-Life 3, depending on which way you want to look at it. Okay, um, I see. The stuff that he describes in here um, looks really cool. If you look at all the deleted stuff from the Half-Life 2 beta, which there are mods that resurface that kind of stuff, um, it looks like some minor things that were cut in the original beta of Half-Life 2 would have worked the, their way into the story. Um, like the Borealis, which we all knew about. I mean, I... I kind of feel like i can't spoil anything because we've been we've been waiting for so long for half-life 3 everyone's kind of tore through this already but half-life 2 episode 2 ended on a huge cliffhanger everyone was you know waiting with bated breath to see that what was going to happen next and mm -hmm. now we've got kind of an answer to that in some ways it's closure um i was actually kind of sad reading through this because now i know if if mark's releasing this on his blog it, it's probably never going to happen well, when all right. the writers left the company, I, what, like six yeah. months ago? Yeah, Valve, Valve has, at least as far as I know, right? Because no one has publicly said, hey, I'm writing video games for Valve now. The big names that were doing writing at Valve, those guys are gone. But you know yeah. what all the guys well, writing ga for games are doing right now? Mass Effect. Nope. Oh. Writing card games. Oh. Card games? Oh, oh, yeah. I thought, I thought you like, meant the guys who left. No, no, I'm talking about the guys still at Valve. Yeah, the guys still at Valve. They're now writing card flavor descriptions text for for Dota 2 card games. Which, yeah. by, the oh, way, really? by the way, uh, if I, I think I read on Reddit, someone described it as um, the sound of an entire stadium full of nerds getting kicked in the balls at once when Valve, <laughs> Valve announced their their card game based on Dota 2. Like, we have a new game, and everyone's like, oh, a new Valve game. Oh, it's a fucking Dota 2 card game. God damn it! Fuck you. <laughs> So well, yeah, that's funny. That, that well, that's sucks. enough on the Half Life so, Three. You yeah. can dig into it yourself. We don't want to actually talk about the contents of the blog. Modders are totally going to make a Half Life Two Episode Three. It's going to happen. Right. It's just a matter of time. Yep. Whoever did that Black Mesa thing, that they're already on it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They probably have most of it ready to go. They, they just, had all the filler <laughs> ready. They just needed a few yeah. key scenes to yep. put the actual these, story. These are jokes, by the way. This is not news. They're not, probably not working on it. <laughs> no, yeah. no, no. What I'm saying right now, it. you can report somebody. as truth because yeah. someone is doing Someone that. is building as this. As soon as somebody started reading that, well, they, if the you plans look are at, underway. On the subreddit, the Half-Life 3 subreddit, um, I, I'm guessing they just dig really deep into the into the theories of when and where and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, they, there's a guy on there who says, let's do it. Let's go. It's like kind of like their starting gun. They have all the, they have everything they need. They just need, and so he lists off people. He's like, all right, we need some, we need some voice actors. We need some, you know, <laughs> some moderators ready to go, and we can make this thing. And so he's, wow. so I think, I think, I think, I think saying, this is a. Uh, the guy saying let's go do it is a guy who actually has none of the technical prowess or any of the work so all the hard lifting is by everyone he recruits <laughs> so exactly uh, mr absolutely. thomas edison over there on the message boards well either way i feel like this, nice. is a, this is much more like not necessarily an ending but more of a starting gun you know yeah. as far as modding is concerned and it's it's gonna get crazy when when it comes to people building mods and trying to make official content out of unofficial stuff, you know, most game companies are like, wow, fuck you, cease and desist. <laughs> Tendo, right. Excuse me. Uh, sorry about that. <laughs> yeah. uh, just came out there. Uh, but Valve has typically been really, really 
fucking chill about this stuff like mm-hmm. the black mesa people were recreating half-life one it wasn't like oh we're gonna make a half-life spinoff it was hey let's remake half-life one and make it fucking beautiful and valve's like you guys want to put this on steam and charge money for it like that'd be cool <laughs> this is this is great <laughs> shit like yeah. valve, valve <laughs> fucking loves modders and i well, wouldn't be surprised if they let this one go would they have loved it if they couldn't put it on steam and make money off of it though uh, I mean, yeah, they they released the modding they tools. Probably they probably wouldn't have a problem with it. Yeah, they support it. It Valve. Okay, look at it this way: the vast majority of the money Valve makes today is because of modders, Counter Strike, Dota. No, 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 no. Yes, or no, no, no. Yes, wild way to talk. Um, there's a <laughs> difference between modding, making original content, and modding completely ripping a story of one of the best known game franchises. You mean the Black Mesa project that's now on Steam for like $25? Yes, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Would they have actually done that if they couldn't have allowed or been able to monetize it? Oh, yeah, yeah, right. absolutely. People, yeah. Have, people have been trying to remake Half-Life 1. There's been countless mods trying to remake Half-Life 1 before the Black Mesa people started getting a huge amount of press for theirs. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, they're, they're cool with basically whatever comes out, unless you're making like yeah. weird Half-Life sex mods or something. <laughs> So they're actually charging for Black Mesa now. When I played yeah. it, it was free. I yeah. did play it a little bit. It was free. You can Is go it- download it, but if you want to get it on Steam, you pay money. Oh, but yeah. they still have it for free on their site. Yes. As far as I know, oh, in- I, I, think the one, I think the one on okay. Steam is a little more cleaned up than the, oh, the mod, okay. like most mods, right? Um, yeah. Black Mesa, I'm sorry, it's $20 on Steam. And by the way, if you guys want to play through um, at least like the first big main part of Half-Life 1... 20 bucks is such a low price to pay. Um, don't let right. the early access tag scare you. This game has been in development for like 15 years or something. It's always going to be and, early access. And it, when you guy talk who about swears against early access. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When you talk about Half Life, also, sometimes you're like, even if you're just a gamer and you don't know much about the Half Life series and you're just like, oh, do I even bother? It's an old game. It actually holds up pretty well. It's, it's a good, t- it's a really good time. It's a, yeah. it's a pretty decent story. And, it, it, it just just go for it. It's a good. It's it's a really good ride. Hmm. So yeah, yeah, that's that's all on that. We've we've got um, tons of other news. This yeah. is a huge news week. Yeah, yeah don't worry large, about it. I, I, I got this. Is a large this. list. You, you got, I got this. You got this. Yeah. Perks got it. I all got right. this. All right. Um, I wasn't worried. So um, there was a really funny thing I got to call out. Uh, we're not going to go too deep. <laughs> Everyone, look this up after the podcast and after you're done playing okay. Gigantic with us. <laughs> Um, KFC VR game, <laughs> fucking KFC, because yeah. they haven't been getting have, fried chicken VR game. They have not been getting right. weird enough with the golden fried kernel and all these really <laughs> fucking weird commercials lately. <laughs> so what do you do next to ratchet up the weird? Make a fucking Kentucky Fried Chicken escape room VR game. What? No, this was some the sort of training. Fuck. It's for it's for training, right? No, 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 no. It's Air quotes. It's an escape room. Training. Oh, it's okay. training. It's it's basically right. it's the same amount of training you would get from Job Simulator. Yes. And okay. the difference is, make Job Simulator and not while you're high, but while you're on LSD. Yeah, like it's <laughs> oh, fucking nice. weird. It is fucking. Is this free? Do, do we have to pay for it? I haven't looked up anything. Okay. I'm just everyone look it up and just be amazed at how fucking weird the KFC people can get. <laughs> from, uh, from what I read briefly, it's an escape room. Yes. So, mm-hmm. yes, so that's what basically it what's happening. So it, it a fucking weird escape room, but an escape room nonetheless. So that's that's basically what you're getting yourself into is an escape room that's really weird made by KFC. Yeah, yes. it's, huh. it's fucking what bizarre. What the fuck? That sounds well, awesome. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm all I'm, for it. I'm totally like this. If we <laughs> want to stream VR games, which we've done a couple times, this is the one to stream. Nope, nope, nope. I'm nope. totally doing this. All right. Anyway, um, other other VR news. Uh, Vive price drop is officially down to six hundred dollars. Uh, we That's talked uh, about awesome. we talked about the Oculus a few weeks ago, and I was pretty much claiming that this is going to drive it. And mm-hmm. VR yeah. prices are dropping now. Vive is down to six hundred. That's it, awesome. Um, it is <clears throat> the premier VR experience in my mind with the room scale. But either Dude, way, the, it's good. The thing that worries me. Um, and this actually hit some of the bigger press today, so it's no longer... HTC is looking to um, either spin off or sell the Vive division. 
Oh, and one of the people they're looking to sell to is Google. Yeah. Wow. Oh, nice. That's, so I actually, I actually don't. Uh, I do I not like that idea. Would come out of that. Really? Um, I'm surprised. Well, so Google used to be a very open company, pushing a bunch of open source. And for the Vive, uh, Valve themselves have been pushing uh, open VR and open standards. So when you build mm -hmm. a game in open VR, theoretically, it works everywhere. Um, right. Google in past five to seven years has gotten really, really tight in controlling over some of their stuff. Um, and I, I don't want to see the Vive turn into a walled garden, kind of like the Oculus, um, mm. which, which would suck. I really, I would love to see Valve just buy the Vive outright. Just say, hey, look, it's just Steam VR now. We own a headset. <laughs> mm. Go buy yeah. it. I know they don't want to, they don't want to get into the middleman. They don't want to do a bunch of hardware stuff, but they're already doing the Steam controllers. Why not do it with the Vive? And the Steam Link. Yeah. And have yeah. they officially stopped Steam Machines? Uh, no, no. Steam Machines are run by third parties. They just provide the software, and they're still going. They just don't... <laughs> no one buys them. Because anyone who's willing to get a Steam Machine knows how to make their own computer anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Right. I love the idea of the Steam Machine. It just... It won't ever work. Um, and yeah, one, it doesn't make any sense to me. <laughs> one more little VR tidbit. Um, during GamesCon, Bethesda announced VR titles coming. Um, I'll do, we'll do clarifications in a second, but in total, Fallout 4, Doom, and Skyrim are all coming to VR. Woo! Well, no, yeah. Yeah, Skyrim, nice. the game that will never fucking die <laughs> is coming to VR. <laughs> no, Launching on the Amiga next week. <laughs> I, I can't wait till it's just on my cell phone <laughs> in VR. Skyrim. Yeah. For for Google for Google Cardboard. <laughs> that's that's what I'm waiting <laughs> yeah. for. So so before before everyone gets super excited about playing Skyrim on their on their Vive, um let's let's launch <laughs> some clarifications here. Uh yeah. so Doom will release for PSVR and the Vive. All, oh by the way, all of these release um sometime it's it's twenty seventeen winter, so between December and November mm. they will be out. Uh Doom coming out for PSVR and the Vive. Fallout four for the Vive. Skyrim just for PSVR. Now these are only confirmed platforms. They haven't mentioned anything about cross porting or cross pollination. The one thing you can count on is that none of these will be on the Oculus Rift. Well, no, no, no. That's mm. not a huh. safe thing to say. None of these are going to the Oculus Store. Oc okay, you, all right. You all don't. Right, yes. You can play these with an Oculus. If Maybe. Maybe. Everything for the Vive plays on Oculus. But you don't know if they're going to say, oh, wait, do they have an Oculus connected? Have they ever looked at an Oculus? They might, like, scan your PC for Oculus Rift drivers <laughs> and instantly ban the game from working. Yeah. <laughs> the reason being, Bethesda is in a huge fucking legal battle with Oculus right now because of John Carmack and what he did. Um, what? Mm. Oh, true. Huh. Yeah, so Bethesda and Oculus fucking hate each other's guts right now, and there's a giant legal battle, so... The best way to stick it to them is take your big titles and make sure it never runs on the Oculus platform. I am not super <laughs> familiar with this battle. Uh, could you summarize? Give me the cliff notes. What, so cliff what notes happened? is uh, John Carmack, he loves technology and stuff. So he's like, I want to make VR shit. Bethesda, let me make B VR shit because Bethesda bought in software and with that came John Carmack. Bethesda said, eh, no. So when Carmack's contract was up, he said, fine, fuck you. And he went over to Oculus. Um, the lawsuit states, and allegedly he took a shit ton of source code and proprietary Bethesda stuff and stuff that he had made that wasn't ever going to be used for Bethesda stuff because they didn't want to do VR stuff, but he built it while working for them so they own his stuff. They own his creations. And he took that to Oculus mm. when he left. Yeah. I think we, we talked about this uh, a few months okay. ago about the, the whole right, wrong, who's in yeah, the right. We, we got pretty in-depth on it, but those are the cliff notes of the, of the case right now. So they <coughs> fucking hate each other. So Adam's just going to well, get you out there for a PSVR so you can play you some Skyrim for the 10th time? Uh, <laughs> only 10th? No, only 10th? If, if I were to buy a PlayStation 4, I, I don't know that I would bother with the VR and I would play Bloodborne. And yeah, that's probably about it. Just watching well, some Bloodborne. Just videos Bloodborne. Today. What about like anything by Neil Druckmann? Just like just Bloodborne. Really? Uh, you wouldn't yeah. play any of the Uncharted. It's not one. Just not just. Actually, I've never. You, I've never been interested wouldn't. in Uncharted. No, 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 no. You guys you, are I've all never missing been the interested point. In that. I don't know why. It's Fuck so Uncharted. Good. Fuck Bloodborne. I like the game. Fuck Neo. If you're getting a PS4, if you don't play Horizon Zero Dawn, return your fucking PS4. 
Uh, see, <laughs> just I don't know that I probably wouldn't bother with that either. I'd get it eventually. I'd get it on sale. I, I uh, would buy Bloodborne and then I'd just wait for The Last of Us 2 and then that would be about it. Yeah, and so you I'd are going to play a Neil Druckmann game. I would play the Ooh, Shadow, of, Shadow Colossus. of the Colossus remake when that comes out. Yeah, and Final Fantasy uh, VII. It's, Uncharted's are such a good ride, though. They're they're just it's Indiana Jones. You know what you're getting yourself yeah, into, see, yeah, but it's I'm not, just not into that either. Did you like Last of Us? I loved Last of Us. Then but I, I would think give... that the reasons that I like The Last of Us has nothing to do with the reasons oh. why people like Uncharted. Uncharted plays Did you so like the much story? different. But you, uh, it's a story thing. It's a it's oh, like if you if you I like, like story, Last yeah. of Us for the story, I know it's less. It's obviously very much less gritty, but the story plays out really nice. I I say give it a shot. Also quick note about that in general is with uh, with PlayStation Now, you can play all of those games, uh, all the PS3 games, on your PC. Yep. You just get PlayStation Now, and you can play all the Uncharted. You can play Last of Us, and you can play them directly on your PC. A friend of mine just got it. Hmm. Uh, and, and he's playing through Uncharted right now. And he's like, this is amazing. This is really good. Uh, Interesting. He's also playing through Last of Us and a couple other things. But yeah, uh -huh. you could play whatever you want as far as their, their catalogs concerned. There's a lot of really great uh, great titles on there. I think it's, they said over not, 200 titles. PlayStation yeah, it's now not whatever. Awesome. It's, but it is a really good offering, and the fact that it streams to computers is great. Yeah, and nice. it's not like you don't have to own a system. That's, it's not okay. like it's streaming nice. from the system. It's, it's, five, it's actually over 500 games now. Right. I've okay. So it's quite a lot, a lot of games, of games. and they're Jesus. good. There's like God of Wars on there. More. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna have to look into this. I remember we even covered this on one of the podcasts, but I never did look into it that much. But that's oh, cool. it's it's really cool. We've yeah. had it. What we used to do is we played video game roulette, uh, where we just sit down and we hold right and all right, stop, and then we hold down. Okay, stop, and then boom, you play that game, whatever it is. We ended up playing nice. like uh, what is it, Tokyo? Uh, what is Tokyo it called? Drift. The no, 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 no. Uh, it's the one where you're where you're one of these uh, you're one of these different animals. At Tokyo Jungle, and you have to play. Uh, and you play as one of the animals. You try to survive. It's like a weird platformer thing that is not always a platformer. It, it's really weird, and <laughs> don't don't do it. <laughs> it's really <Yeah>. lame. <laughs> but uh, there's a lot of games on there. You just burn through them, and and it's it's a blast and the fact that you have god of war you have uncharted you have last of us like that's more than enough reason to, to get it and yeah. it streams it's it's huh. it's game streaming from their services to your computer this okay. is interesting i might i'm gonna it's insane it. so dark soul in chat <clears throat> says that it's game streaming not quite like playing the game so right. does that just mean that there's some input lag and it so doesn't kinda, quite feel the same? Uh, it's not noticeable good. for me. I, did you I, try I was on live it, back in the day? So mm -hmm. on live was kind of a the original game streaming service that came out, and I I you know ran it for a while. Um, it's really good, really good. As long as you've got a decent internet connection. At the time, I was thirty down, five up. It wasn't anything crazy or, or great, um, but on live worked fantastic. If this works like that. It me. works really good. When I did it through the PlayStation, that's when I did it. Um, I had no noticeable input lag as far as like anything that uh, anything I was playing. I didn't require crazy in, like inputs. So mm -hmm. like I think if I was playing like a competitive fighter online, they have fighter games yeah. on there too. Uh -huh. So you, you might start noticing it there, but I nothing. It wasn't even noticeable even remotely for mm -hmm. me. Josh, and when uh, we could play yes, Bloodborne. We could play. Well, is it on there? I don't know. If it's on there, I'm signing up today. Yeah, <laughs> I don't think. It, I think it only goes. I don't, I don't think, think it, it goes. To, I don't think it goes to PS4. I think oh. it only goes to PS3. Well, that's no, which. That's, oh yeah, that's no, no. But over the, the one PS4 and PS3 games. Oh. Either way. Yeah, there's some good way. titles on here. So the only little, question we'll that I need, and we will we will let you know. Yeah. The, the, you know what's the most frustrating part about PlayStation now? And I'm, this is the last thing, and we'll move on, I swear. <laughs> Will we? Will we really? It's, no, never. It's always going to be there. Okay. Uh, PlayStation, uh, they, they, they're they not adding Skate. Oh, oh, come on. And it's driving me crazy. I just want to <laughs> play Skate. Let me play Skate. Well, they're trying, to get, they're trying to get the best games out there to get people onto the system. So they don't want to expose them to games that are garbage. What about Clearly, Skate? Skate is not one of the what? best games. Clearly. 
No way. Like, if you look at some of the crappy <laughs> trash titles that are on there, there's not skate. You know it's EA saying, like, no, nah, don't do it. Uh, you, don't, you don't thing, know man. what's on there. You EA's don't know what's on there. Thing. Okay, so, so you the don't next, know what's on the there. next little little bit of news. Uh, well, for me, anyway. Uh, Quick Champions Early Access is now available on <laughs> Steam for money. Um, so this Weird. it's not just a thing that Fortnite is doing apparently um, you can get early access to quick champions if you pay for it oh, that's hmm. not terribly uncommon anymore it's, yeah I yeah. don't I don't like it well I then don't pay it. for it yeah I'm not going to I'm gonna use the free to play <laughs> thing when it comes out I really wanted to play this I was like oh f- sweet quick champions we can run this as our as our game next week and and yeah. I saw we'd have to force everyone to pay $30 for an early access game that may or may not, may not be shit. So fuck that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that's fucking shitty. Yeah. I get it, but it's fucking shitty. I don't think it's shitty. If you want access to something before it's available, okay, you're willing to pay for it, pay for it. Get access. Otherwise, I, I'm, wait. I'm not saying that they, they can't do it. I'm just saying that I'm not going to pay for it. Yeah, I mean, no I, I agree. I don't, I'm not going to do it either. It's not shitty, though. To be shitty means they're exploiting people. They're telling people, you want to play this early, you can. You have to pay. Otherwise, you can mm-hmm. wait and get it for free. I, I think it hurts the game, though. Because if they're looking to out, if you're, they're looking to get the max number of players into their game to report the max number of bugs and stress the service to the maximum level, having a paywall doesn't help that. Who says that's what they're trying to do? No. I, I don't, it the, might be less of a... It might be just more for funding, too. So... So yeah. this, this game is quick. This, game. this is owned by id software and bethesda <laughs> they made they yeah. keep porting skyrim That's to true. fucking sega genesis they've got money <laughs> they've got shit tons of money this is what not i don't understand funding. is if, if this was some like dying company like i don't know epic games that hasn't put out like seven <laughs> gears of war games and i could totally understand oh wait right. they have money too fuck yeah. both of them <laughs> right well <laughs> if they had a land they had a land for Quake I, I Champions. Watched it. I watched like, that I don't, on Twitch. I don't, I don't Which, understand. Way, it's like, it's impossible I, to watch Quake on Twitch. It moves way too fast for the compression to keep up. Yeah, <laughs> way it, too yeah. fast. It, I don't under like that's what I don't understand. This, I'm, I'm starting. I'm starting to see this happening, and it needs to stop. <laughs> like, and, and someone needs to stop this. If it's like, if you have, if you have a land, you have a complete game. It's not early access. It's just a game. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, okay, you know, you're, you're just, you're just like, hey, we're putting out a game. It's going to cost money right now, and it won't cost money later. Like, they just need to call it, <laughs> like, yeah. they don't need to call it early access because that yeah. title should be reserved to actual early well, access okay, games. So, we're getting into Double Edged Sword. You don't like people doing that, but you really hate when people release buggy games. That's an early That's access it. title. Yeah, no, 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 you're upset when a polished game is in early access, but you're also upset when an unpolished game is considered done. The fact exactly. is... Exactly. It's the it's, same thing. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying is by having a polished game in early access is how you stop having buggy games released. But it, it doesn't, though. End, it doesn't, yeah. though. It's not the same thing because it's, it's, the, it's two ends of the spectrum. Like, if you have a done game in an early access stage then you don't have an early access game. Same thing if you have a game that doesn't e- uh, hasn't even got past a napkin phase in like in a, poten- a perpetual unreleased state, then that's being that's frustration for a different reason. Those are two separate things. But how the right? thing you, is the game's not done. And anyway, they're still anyway, adding can, content that they're afraid might do bugs. We we With can Fortnite, guarantee that when Quake Champions launches, it will be the buggiest piece of shit ever. Well, look, at the, look at the publisher. Yes, I understand. But I'm just saying in general with early access, even if the game is incredibly polished and it plays well, they're still adding content a lot. And adding of that content risks bugs. We just saw Battle, Player Unknown Battlegrounds admit that by adding so much content so quick, they're introducing bugs. Yeah, I, I get it. And that's yeah. also part of the early access thing is the fact that they are releasing new content. Maybe maybe and I should just say I, unless risky. it's on VR, I don't like paying for games that that aren't finished. Gigantic is is I think is the way to do it right, right? So they said, okay, it's an early access game. Here's it for free. It's going to be a free to play thing. So we're not going to make you pay for it. No, the, the game's not early access. It was early access the whole time. 
early. I think, I don't know if you had to pay for its access or not. But it said early access on there. No, it's, I'm, I'm it's, looking. I'm looking. Tom, you don't need to. It's, it released like two months ago. Yeah. What? Oh, yeah. well, fuck. Okay. We've already said that this Did podcast. We? We? I, don't, I don't pay attention. You I don't already watch asked your that, shit. You already asked that exact question this, this podcast. Yeah, fuck this show. Anyway, Tom, <laughs> Tom was too busy manning the band hammer. Yeah. But uh, a little more, a couple more things real quick. Um, quick PSA for anyone who plays Ark. People should probably know that. Um, their old servers, since it's about to release out of early access. Some of them. Some of the old servers are being decommissioned if it's low pop. So just jump on your server, see if it is. If it is, grab your shit. However... You can only go to another old server that's not being decommissioned. They're putting up a wall preventing it from transferring into the new servers when the game launches. So just everyone know that's what's going on. If you have shit in an old server, make sure you're not low pop because your shit's going to go bye-bye. Like fill that fucking Mountain Dew. Fill it. <laughs> Can't yeah. have low pop. No low pop. No low pop. Um. Also, some cool news. Darkwood, a game we've talked about on here before because Adam has an inst- actually streamed it a little bit. Um, their devs are kind of cool. Actually, they're really cool. Really fucking cool. So yeah. here's the first thing I the like news item is that I'm not, I'm not depressed or angry about. <laughs> <laughs> These guys <laughs> saw that people were... Uh, one of the reviews, exactly one of the reviews they called out said, I had to refund the game before I was done playing it so that the money would be back in the account so my parents wouldn't flip out whenever it was, uh, that time of the month came. So they're like, you know what? People want this game. We want them to be able mm-hmm. to play this game. We're going to keep it on Steam as is, but we're also, we are going to put it on the Pirate Bay so people can play it for free. Huh. So get yeah. it from Pirate Bay if you want it. If you can afford it, buy it. But they're saying it's free. Go get it. This, so, nice. like, I, I was looking at some dark wood, I watched some trailers, Adam talked about it a bunch, and I was like, eh, yeah, buy it. But now, I really want to fucking buy this just on principle. I might not ever play yeah. it, it might end up in a future lost and found a couple years from now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, <laughs> but I totally just want to buy this on principle, because these guys are cool as fuck. <laughs> also, it takes yeah. some balls to self-release your game on the Pirate Bay. Yeah, it really absolutely. does. Yeah, definitely. So, um, I just watched the, see, I, I had played this game on early access a little bit. And, uh, one of the reasons I didn't get into it that much is because every time they updated the game, the save files were no longer compatible. Ooh. So oh. I, I didn't want to get too far into it, but now that it's released, that's not an issue anymore. So I'm probably going to start playing it again. Hmm. But, um, I just watched the release trailer for the first time today and man, that's good. It looks really, really creepy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm really, really tempted on this. Yeah. And if you want to learn more about the developers, um, they actually did an AMA on Reddit. Um, question and answer thing for those uninitiated. Um, <laughs> but you can search that. Um, they're actually called Acid Wizard Studio, and it's three college buddies and a dog. So <laughs> they made this game. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's yeah, it's cool. pretty fucking rad. Yeah, it's really, really cool on them. I'm very happy that they're doing that. Um, also, as if you're watching this, you either know us or you care about video games. So, um, and if you're not, please send me an email. Like, we have some demographic problems, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, Gamescom is going on, or was going on. Um, and there were some pretty uh, cool titles to come out of that. Uh, two of them that I know that we here have discussed a little bit anyway is Jurassic Park. Operation Genesis 2. Oh, I the- mean evolution. <laughs> so it's brought to you by the people who made Zoo Tycoon. And now it's an incredibly well-polished Jurassic Park tycoon. Hmm. Oh, huh. That's kind of neat. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I am really pumped about this. I definitely so like to look into I've, it. I've played this game before. Operation huh. Genesis, way back on the PC. It was Sim Theme Park, but dinosaurs. And it was, it was a huh. good game. You could, if the dinosaurs got out, you could uh, get like in a helicopter and do like a cool first person shooter mini game to take them down with trike oh, darts. Really? It was, it was hmm. a pretty good game. <laughs> it was uh, literally the Zoo Tycoon skin for Jurassic Park. Yeah, that's, that's really the only thing it was. And it was a lot of fun. So when people are out there like freaking out, like, oh my God, how have they never made this before? 
They did. Um, <laughs> but the difference That's is, a, this is 15 years later. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm really excited about this. I really am. I'm totally going to look at it. Now, it still can't beat the magnum opus that is Jurassic Park on the Sega Genesis. Such a hard fucking game. But I will let this one slide. <laughs> <laughs> also, um, big announcement there. Um, I don't know if you guys have played much of this. This was one of the RTSs I played pretty heavy. Age of Empires 4 was announced. Um, I think the release date was sometime next year. If they even had one, I can't remember. But AOE 4 is coming. 12 years after hmm. the release of 3. So, I don't know. Did you guys play much Age of Empires? No. I have uh, not played I, I played enough Age of Empires. <laughs> I played enough to hope that they have the monster trucks in it. <laughs> what? What? You didn't know you could do the monster truck cheat in Age of Empires? Oh, no. cheat. Okay, what? no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, you can have monster <laughs> on, trucks in on. Age of Empires. Yeah, t- tell me about this. What the yeah. fuck? Oh, yeah, there's this, that's it. There's a, there's a unit you can spawn. It's a monster truck. And, <laughs> and you roll over people. <laughs> All right. So I hope they have cool. monster trucks. <laughs> so uh, for those yeah. in the audience and those who I'm talking with right now, Age of Empires was... Um, a RTS game where the tech tree not only gave you new units, it advanced you from the Stone Age to the Iron Age to the Steel Age to the Steam Age, and you actually your entire technology got better. So you started out with like people with clubs, and then you started getting people on chariots and arrows, and then you started getting like these really cool swords and full suits of armors. Then you get fucking like military. So I mean, it was really cool, and Age of Empires three introduced this really cool deck card system that you can upgrade certain things outside of matches that reflected inside, which was really neat. It was a really nice metal layer on top of it. So I'm really excited about this one. Yeah, yeah this is, this is uh, interesting. And uh, cool. no, you're they, they were monster trucks. Uh huh. I just oh. posted a video. If you're, if you're interested, there is the cheat and the monster truck. And there's a monster truck running things over Age of Empires 3 monster truck. Uh, but hold on. Nice. Hold on here. Because I'm <laughs> also looking at Age of Empires um, Cobra Car. Oh, nice. So they, they probably, <laughs> it was probably this is both. This theme. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. These yeah. Had, so, so we're both right. Yeah. For those of you who are in AOE 2 and then Monster Treks in AOE 3. Sweet. That's yeah. awesome. So, so for those hopefully of you who in are, Age of Empires, yeah. So we, yeah. hopefully we have Monster Treks and cars and then we could both be right in the next one. <laughs> for those of you who are listening or like, what the fuck does this have to do with anything? There was a uh, point brought up in chat disputing the Monster Truck fact. So. Saying it was totally race cars, dog. <laughs> Fuck yourself. Yeah. And then Josh is like, nah, here's a vid. Nah, dog. And then, and then someone else is like, oh shit, proof. it was an AoE 2. And we have both. So clearly <laughs> it will be monster trucks and race cars battling for the Empire. That will be the best like final fight of like a, a Sunday, ESL, Sunday, ESL Sunday. major. <laughs> Be really Come funny down to if, Age like, of Empires 4 and watch the monster trucks take on the blue cobra cars. <laughs> monster trucks totally win. Just saying. Just saying. Four dollar <laughs> beers and three dollar hot dogs on Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> God damn it. Well, that's what I'm liking this. With that low no, I think that's really all we got for you guys this week. Low Holy no, shit. that was the best shit this podcast has seen wow. in years. It's a Saturday. <laughs> it, was, it was definitely something. Let me call out some followers before we get too much, you know, into this whole end spiel here. Um, we have Tess underscore Tickles four twenty. I see oh, what you God. did there. Uh, Wasabic <laughs> G, Gay and Proud fifteen. Um, some of these are hard to say, so sorry. Um, A-F-O-T-E-Y-G-H. A-F-O-T-E-Y-G-H. Thank you. Rex Bob 1. Uh, Gakuzer. Emberk 24. And AD Peak 25. Thank you for following during the cast. Damn, we got a lot. Thanks for the follows. Yeah, it's killing it. And thanks, thanks for everybody. everyone that followed during the uh, RLCS yeah, that run, was too. Heavy. We yeah, got so quite a bit on that as well. Yeah, thanks it's for nuts. all the support everyone's been giving us. So, right. with that, you know, you, we also have a Twitter you can go over and follow us at at, at 72PC Podcast. 
you could always recommend games that we play for postcast and topics we talk about, which also one more throw out tonight is gigantic after the podcast. Y'all should go pick it up, play with us, spend about 10 minutes to get everything prepped and it'll be a good time. Oh, also we're mm. on iTunes now because apparently that hadn't happened before. So I guess <laughs> if you've got an iPhone, I'm sorry, go get our podcast. Yeah, get our podcast, <laughs> iTunes, Stitcher, uh, Pocket Cast, any of those you want. Google Play. Google Play. <laughs> if you are watching us on Twitch, we do have a YouTube channel where we've been uploading our series as we've been doing them. I'm going to what? hopefully have two weeks ago podcast as well as the Kerbal up this sun or tomorrow. So go see all our ever expanding content we have on YouTube. If you're on our YouTube watching this delayed, you can always come catch us Saturday nights live 9 p.m. Eastern on our Twitch at TV slash 72 pin connector. And also we have our website where if you can't remember any of the other things we tell you, you go to 72pinconnector.com. It takes you fucking everywhere. Yeah, we've even got Discord links in there. So when you load up Gigantic <laughs> and you need to get into voice chat with us, hit up that link on 72pinconnector.com. Get into Discord. Or just go to the bottom of the Twitch page you're already on. Or that too. Don't listen to him. He's wrong. <laughs> Either way, y'all just come in here, play with us, have fun. And with that, I think that's all we got for you this week. So, until next week, game on. See you, everyone. Bye. Take care.